Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Wally, and you are now tuning to Playboy Hustlers TV. Hey, this is the king of Melody B. Yeah, oh, look, today I'm back with Thomas Soul, you understand? And he's talking about somebody who I always used to question and be like, yo, what's up with homeboy? You understand what I mean? But before we dive into that, listen. Before we go any further, make sure you check the playlist out. I got a lot of Thomas Soul videos up in the playlist for him. You hear me? Check that out. When you're done with this channel, make sure you go back to that channel. Show them some love too. You hear me? And don't forget, man. Hey, go check all the links in my description. You will love what you see in there. All right? Another note too. June 10th. That's my birthday. Make sure you wish me a big happy birthday. All right? With that being said, let's go ahead and... You know what I'm saying? Check out what he about to say about Neil deGrasse Tyson, Mr. So-called know-it-all. You can never talk with him. He is super generic, yo. Hey, if you like him, no offense. You hear me? Intellectuals on issues ranging across the spectrum from poli housing policies to laws governing organ transplants have sought to have decision-making discretion taken from those directly involved who have personal knowledge and a personal stake and transferred to third parties who have neither and who pay no price for being wrong, close quote. So again, this, this counter common sense, you know what's best for your health, therefore we must make the decision in a bureaucracy in Washington. That's right. How, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've been told all your life, and, and many of these people have, from an early age, they, they were in the class for bright, gifted children. They were the ones who got into the good high schools. They were the ones who were accepted in colleges that accept uh, less than 10% of the applicants. Uh, uh, they've heard this all through their lives. So they believe it. And after a while, they must, in all due modesty, uh, believe it. That's a fact, man. You keep telling a lie, becomes the truth. You hear me? You see it nowadays, you hear me? All you gotta do is look at present history, baby. All right. <laughs> it's here we pride ourselves on what we call freedom. OK, we're free, free. And part of that free, you know, we, we live in a country where there are entire states where if you ride a motorcycle, you don't have to wear a helmet. Right. OK, that's how free we are. Or at least we tell we so, tell ourselves we are. Here's the difference. If you don't wear a helmet and you're in an accident, you're more likely to die and become an organ donor. But you're not putting anyone else's freedoms at risk right. by doing so. Right. So that's a pure expression of your freedom right. taking your own life at risk as a, as a functioning rational adult. Right. Okay? All right. If you now express your freedoms but put other people's freedoms at risk, that's a no-no. And so I think so many Americans were confused. I know exactly what he's talking about. He's talking about that. About them wearing a mask, not realizing that's not only to prevent you from getting uh, sick is to prevent you from making other people sick. Right. That's one thing I never understand. That theory sounds so backwards, and that coming from his mouth is like absurd. And then, of course, Mr. Scientist is gonna say, Hey, trust the science. You understand? This was the wildest thing I ever saw in my living life. Probably you as well. You understand me? Because, hey, I didn't fall victim to any of this. I just sat back and watched everybody go at each other. But listen, yo. He was crazy with the comment that he made. How does this sound? I'm wearing this to protect you. That don't even sound right. That sounds ridiculous, but I guess when you're indoctrinated for so long, anything sounds right, as long as they put a little Vaseline in it. Right. Yeah. All right? If you don't know that you have it. And that's where people didn't fully recognize and understand what it means to live in a free country. I mean, you can do what you want, provided you don't subtract from someone else's freedoms. And look, fast forward to today, we are all still standing, you hear me? So I don't want to hear that. Miss me with that, yo, for real. That propaganda they were spewing had everybody going against each other. I had a friend actually where, listen, he was living in a household and it split the household in half. You hear me? That's different right there. Hey, you know what they say, man? We stand for nothing, we fall for everything, yo. Mm -hmm. And wearing a mask allows, creates the situation where you're not subtracting from someone else's freedom, especially old people who could die right. from yeah. that. Right. But so, I think we're so selfish, so, though, that we only care about it's, it's us. A, even if they're told, the people who did that, even when they were told. 
and people didn't want to believe it was real it, all the conspiracy people so I'm, I'm i'm saddened this is what i don't like whenever they don't like something that's being said by the population they call them the the C word, the big C word, the conspiracy people. You understand me? As an educator, that we have people in this, the most advanced country the world has ever seen, the wealthiest country the world has ever seen, and we have whole communities among us who are sure Earth is flat. Hey, that the wealthiest country, uh, we got to take that back because there are other countries who's up right now. That vaccines are bad, that the, the virus is, is, is an invention by the Chinese or whomever, this is disturbing. And our, our, I don't know that we have the wisdom to take ourselves deep into the 21st century. If they had some sense of the loss of freedom, which is infinitely more important than any of the specific issues by themselves, that is Obamacare really is a huge step towards the loss of freedom. I mean, and it happens in small ways for real, a lot of people gave you liberty and the medical system, now the government took over it. You hear me? That's what happened. You give it up to them, you'll see what's going to happen. That, 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 but constantly, I mean, we can't have our own, the light bulb that we want in our own home. We can't flush the toilet with the kind of toilet we want. We can't take a shower with the kind of shower head we want. Uh, we can't put our garbage out except uh, uh, and, and broken down by the way that some little... Uh, Gow lighters have decided that oh, we, ought, we, ought, we, ought, we ought to do it. I mean, that, that it, it's just the accretion of these things, uh, many of which are too small to be significant in, in themselves. But it's still there. But in the aggregate you, can, aggregate, you can see the tendency of this. The people who think they know better and they ought to be telling us what to do, uh, those people are the danger. And if you don't see that, then uh, I'm not sure what the, what the future's gonna be like. You don't know what the future's gonna be like, man. I really thank him for being here and spreading his knowledge, you understand what I mean? Very intellectual. Hey man, I stand with Thomas Soul, you heard? With that being said, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that link in the description. Run it up, run it up. Make sure you hit the like, and definitely hit the notification bell. And yeah, man, smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. I will see you on the next one. Love.